already told a story on why I cut my hair, so I decided I feel like I should tell it now. There is, like, it is it is a big deal to me, but it may not be big deals to other people, but that didn't make any sense. But, um, <clears throat> I feel like this is actually a humongous serious story. You know how, like, Gabby cut her hair back in 2016, and you know how, like, Serena cut her hair on Pokemon uh, X and Y? Like, there's, like, the story to each one of them. Gabby cut her hair because, like, she wanted a change, I think, and she had it for so long, and, like, it was her safety blanket, and it was everything to her, and Ser Serena had a big fuck-up on her performance at the Pokemon, like, thing, when Braxen, uh, or, uh, Fennekin, I meant, like, tripped on her bow, and she cried, and she went to, like, the edge of, like, a water thing, <laughs> and she got scissors and cut her hair, because she wanted to change, and it looked so great on both of them. How Gabby did the galaxy, it was great, and how Ser Serena looked so pretty. I'm not saying I cut my hair because I wanted to look like them. No, 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 there's actually a very big story. So, so um, sit down, because this is probably going to be a long story. I don't know, but there is a serious story to this. And <clears throat> sit down and enjoy. So back when I lived in Edmonton, my mom was going through a serious, and I mean serious, breakup. Probably the most sad I've ever seen her in a really long- I actually don't think I've ever seen her this sad. She was so frustrated. Actually, when- I'm actually not gonna say the boyfriend's name. We'll call him, um, David. We'll call him David. So David was- a very big part in my life and my mom's life. My brother Mitchell didn't like him as much, but I, th but I saw him as a dad. And if you guys don't know, my dad, my real dad, um, he, he used to beat me in the worst way possible. He almost broke my legs once. He, he gave me brain damage, I kid you not. And he never fed us as much whenever my mom went to work, so when he came into our lives i felt like everything was going to change i felt like i was going to actually have a dad and i was going to start calling him dad and i was so ready i was ready to call him dad and i was ready to like hug him i mean i hugged him all the time he was amazing he's all i ever wanted in a dad a big awesome strong guy who i wanted to look up to and he had a son I'm actually going to say the son's names because they were awesome. There was Jake, who was six years old, and... Oh, shoot. I need to bleep that. <laughs> I cannot say what his name is. David Jr., his real name, but David Jr. And they were both awesome, and I love them so much. I saw David Jr. as a big brother, and I saw... Oh, yeah, David Jr. was, like, 19, I think. And I saw Jacob as a little brother. So now let's get into the part. So when they broke up, my mom actually wanted to call me into her room and just, t they told me right when they were both sitting on the bed and they told me we're breaking up, I was actually playing Minecraft with Killer and another guy. And I went into my room and screamed and they questioned what was going on. I told Killer and he didn't know what to do. He was like, Oh, I, I, I know like it was like so sudden me screaming and like crying. Uh, Killer, if you're watching this, I didn't like expect you to like do anything. I mean, obviously it's, it wasn't your problem. So I know that was like, I don't know. But obviously like it was really, really scary for me. And they were together for two years. But around that final month, Things weren't going well. I'm not saying like, okay, we're gonna break up this month. Like when I meant like, 
Uh, okay, I don't know how to explain it, but they were they were fighting a lot. My mom would ask me to go up into my room whenever they would start a fight. Things would get pretty drastic. I'm not saying that he would hit my mom because no, 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 no. He, he was he was a he was a kind giant. He was very tall. So <clears throat> when they broke up, he was still living in the house for at least two weeks. And that was awful. My mom didn't like it. I didn't like it. And my brother, my two brothers, I have another brother, by the way. My brother Christian was pissed off at David. And my brother was so, my brother Mitchell was so mad that he did this to my mom and me. So my brother Christian is insanely protective over my mom because backstory, well, not backstory, very big reason. <laughs> well, backstory as well. I don't know. Um, and my brother Mitchell, he is insanely protective over me because, well, he knows what I have and he knows that I've been through so much. So he just wants to be there for me. And when this happened to my mom and me, my brothers were in full guard mode. They wanted out of the house as fast as I gotta believe that, damn it. <laughs> they wanted David out of the house as fast as possible. They couldn't stand him in the house. And I didn't want to see him. Every time when he came downstairs, I would immediately go up to my room. I didn't want to see him. Oh God, I'm about to cry. Whew! <laughs> this is not supposed to be me cry. This is not supposed to be a video of me crying. <sighs> okay, okay, okay. <clears throat> so when the day came, by the way, yes, um, oh, not yes. By the way, David was moving into his ex-wife's house because apparently they had a plan on getting back together, which they're not, by the way. I know, shocking. Because um, I don't know why my mom's amazing. I don't know why he would leave her. By the way, she's in a happy relationship. Don't worry, she's fine. Um, so when the day came that he had to leave, me and my mom couldn't stand the thing that he left behind if you guys don't know my mom and him were going to start like motorcycling together if that's even a word they were going to like go off on like they oh, not off <laughs> they're gonna go off a mountain <laughs> they were gonna go like up a mountain and like look at the sunset and maybe that's where he was gonna propose by the way yes they were planning on getting married that's how serious this relationship was so it was, he left behind the two motorcycles and he kept them there for a whole month. And every time when my mom saw those motorcycles, she would break down and I had to come, I had to go outside, get her in and let her have her moment on the couch. And she would have panic attacks and she would eventually she I don't know but I felt like me and my brother zzz, were felt like she was gonna go into the kitchen and kill herself that's how scared we were but obviously she didn't I don't think she had that thought because we as she calls my brother she likes to call me my brother and my other brother her Triforce because we are a Zelda family by the way and that's I don't know I, I'm I don't know the Triforces I have this there's pride, I think, and then there's power, I think. There's another one, strength, I think, I don't know. So, my mom was slowly getting better. When he took the motorcycles and when he came to get everything else, I, I, my mom was debating before the day he got here, my mom was like, okay, do you wanna hug him one last time? And I was like, nope, I don't, no. What he did to you was awful. And before he left, I gave him a hug. Ooh, no, ha, ah, no, ha, ah, hmm. <laughs> I honestly couldn't leave on bad terms. I wanted to, I wanted him out of the house. It's obvious that I, what he did was awful. It, I hated him so much for doing that, but I can't hate someone me hating someone is like killing a bunch of puppies like it's impossible i i can't hate a lot well cyber kid cyber kid that's a different thing okay but 
I can't hate anyone that I've seen and talked to and I've grown emotionally attached to them. I can't hate them. Like, I can't hate anyone. Any of my close friends, I can't hate them. I can't hate my family and I couldn't hate David because he was such a big part of my life that when he left, I, I needed to hug him one last time because that's all I did. I never like said, man, I love you. I never even said I love you to him. I just hugged him and he, he could tell that I loved him because of that. So when he left, it was the hardest thing to watch. Oh, no, 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 no. Ah! Look at the lights. Ugh! Oh, my God, I'm going to cry. I cannot cry in this video. No, I don't want to. No, go back in my eye somehow. <sighs> uh. So, I'm pretty sure you can tell where this is going. So, when the day he officially left, me and my mom were in the worst state of mind ever. We've, like, the worst state of mind we've ever been in our life. So, I wouldn't go to school as much. I would miss out on field trips. Well, not field trips. We had this thing called option in my old, options in my old school, and I would miss it, miss out on it so much, and that made it, but... I obviously, my, my mom wanted me to stay home and I wanted to stay home because not because I want to play video games, because I want to help my mom. My brothers would obviously go to school because my mom, well, reasons. So obviously I would miss out on a lot of school and one day I watched, well, I was, <laughs> I was watching a bunch of videos of people like cutting their hair and blah, blah, blah. Yes. I was watching people cutting their hair because I was making something for school. So, as I was watching people cutting their hair, they were mostly fails until I saw someone cutting their hair for a humongous reason. I watched that video and they told the longest and saddest but courageous story ever on why they completely chopped their hair. And they, they wanted to change themselves. And when I saw that video, I picked up scissors. I obviously couldn't cut my hair by myself, so I gave them to my mom. And yes, she was fine. I mean, she was slowly getting better, but yeah. So I asked mom, we need to chop my hair. And she, the first few times she said no until I told her why, and then she said yes. So we chopped my hair before and after.